Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about angles inside the circle theorem. So when we think about two non-parallel lines intersecting a circle, there's, there's really three ways that this could, could take place. And we have these three circles here. And notice our three intersection points that our two lines have. Well, on the first one here, these two lines could intersect on the circle. They could intersect inside the circle and they could intersect outside the circle. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what happens when our two lines intersect inside the circle and what are the angles that are formed and how do we find their measures? So let's look at this theorem below. It states that when two chords intersect inside a circle, the measure of each angle is one half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle, okay? So if we look at this diagram below, we have uh, chord AC and chord BD. And we're looking at angles one and two. So for angle one, we're gonna take one half the measure of angle one's intercepted arc, which is arc DC, and also the intercepted arc of its vertical angle. So the vertical angle to angle one would be right here, and its intercepted arc is arc AB. So we would just add those two arc measures together, divide by two, and that gives us the measure of angle one. All right. And now for angle two, we're gonna take one half of its intercepted arc, which would be BC, and then the intercepted arc of its vertical angle. So the vertical angle for angle two would be right here. And so the intercepted arc for that angle would be arc AD. So we would just add those two together, divide by two, and that gives us our angle measure. So let's look at a couple examples here where we apply this theorem. So for number one, we are given that we wanna find the value of X. Okay, so now we know that uh, also we're given 156 degrees is the measure of arc BD and the measure of arc AC is 130 degrees. So we have all the information we need because we know that X is equal to one half the measure of the intercepted arc, which is 156 degrees, plus the intercepted arc of its vertical angle. Well, its vertical angle is right here. So its intercepted arc would be 130. So all we have to do is add these together and we divide by two multiply by one half, okay? So this is gonna give us 286. And when we multiply by one half or divide by two, this is gonna give us 143 degrees, okay? All right, now for number two, we have to apply a little bit here. Um, we're not exactly given everything that we need. So we wanna find out what X is once again, but to do that, we need to know what these two angle measures are. Well, we do know that this angle right here is 94 degrees. So if 94 and this angle right here are a linear pair, then that means they're supplementary, right? Which means they're gonna add to 180 degrees. So if we subtract 180 minus 94, we're gonna get 86 degrees. So that tells us that these two angles are 86 degrees because they're vertical angles. Um, but really all we need is the fact that one of those angles is 86 degrees, okay? So now we get set up our equation. We know that 86 is equal to one half the measure of its intercepted arc, which is right now is X, plus the intercepted arc of its vertical angle, which would be 80 degrees, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply both sides by two, because that's gonna get rid of that one half. So we can do 86 times two, and that's gonna give us 172, equals x plus 80. So let's just subtract 80 from both sides. So 172 minus 80, and we get x is equal to 92 degrees, okay? And so that is how you use the angles inside a circle theorem.